hello everyone this is asmr studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the winter photo and how to edit that so this one is the main image that is non-edited image and then i just done a skin retouch and applied a preset and which is i'll give you in my description the download link the good news is that i'll give the psd file as well so you can use it for your purpose so here is a group and here i just used uh, some effect that is the snow effect and how i use that this one this one was like normal spark and i just give him the motion blur and change the blending mode to the screen and then just adjust the saturation hue saturation actually i just desaturated this one and then added a color lookup that means like uh, levels not color lookup this one is levels and then a photo filter a little bit photo adjustment the color adjustment and then the solid color and i just blend it change to the soft light and then just i made this photograph so let's start the tutorial how to do that before we start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so at first i'll go to the file and open up uh, this one the non-edited image and i'll give you that stock image download link in my video description so check it out and then I just make copy by pressing ctrl j or you can drop or drag here drag and drop over here here is the new layer options and then uh, i'll retouch the face before that i will just i'll erase the dots that means the spots how to do that here is the spot healing brush tool and just uh, select here continuer uncheck those two buttons and make it normal and make the size of the brush 30 pixel or you can control it by using the third bracket opening or closing just select once it will on yeah and then here is two dots two spots actually and here you can just where uh, you can delete the dots or spot just select once or click once it will just remove so what is happening uh, actually it is just contenting airing from the other side that means it's just making copy by the other pixel beside this one beside the dots suppose here uh, here is the non spotted uh, pixel and here is the spotted pixel if you just press here it takes here pixel from here so this one is the techniques of spot healing brush tool that means it's using the content viewer policy actually so after that i'll go to the filter and the photo toolbox skin finer if you want to know about more skin finer please check out my video description and you'll get the detailed video tutorial about the skin finer if you want to know more about the skin finer or if you want to set it up in your computer or your pc or your macbook whatever so here is the panels and you can control all the things at first the smoothing options and skin detailing options and here is the skin masking options i want use skin masking option i'll use the just skin detail options and I'll just adjust all the things so I'm making it zoom so amount of smoothing how amount or how smooth will be the face it will just indicate this one and how fine will be the face so make it more zoom for detailing and here is the balance that's zero and medium medium what will be the medium so just make it like that so that's good and the amount of smoothness so i'll make the smoothness like here is the hue options if you want to make the face color like uh, the wormy then you have to go to the plus value so i'll make it like that and the saturation if you want to increase the saturation of the face you can do that otherwise you have to make it minus value and the brightness make the brightness if you want and the contrast yeah use contrast for the proper shadow highlighting or proper shading of the face and the shadow here is the shadow if you want to increase the shadow you can do that 
in case in this case i'll just make it minus two three or four and highlight you can increase the highlight yeah that's cool so here the before one and after one you are just getting the change of this so and hit the ok button load it up and here is the progress bar and give you the output yeah that's cool let's see the before one and after one and then go to the filter and camera filter here i made a preset for you guys and you can just go to the load settings options and here is the preset i'll give that preset download link in my video description so load this preset so you can edit or you can change all the settings like that so let's see the before one that means the before one and after one yeah you can change all the settings here is the assumption to do that here is the exposure if you need you can make it down or if you need the contrast you can do that here is the sharpening amount you can adjust the sharpening and noise redu reduction and you can do all the settings you can change here is the hsl panel you can decrease or increase the luminance of every color like the red orange or everything here is the option saturation blue aqua here is the luminance option if you need you can change the blue luminance or other stops so you can do that so then hit the ok button give that piece of download link in my video detail so please check it out here is the before one and after one and then now i'll add the snow how to do that go to the file and place embedded options and the snow yeah the previous video i'll use that yeah i'll make it bigger and you are looking here it's funny type like um, uh, here is spark but i'll make it snow how to do that so at first right press and restylize this one and then go to the filter and the blur options and the motion blur options and make the angle 56 that's good and the blur like that yeah like uh, rain or like this so and hit the ok button and change the blending mode to the screen so you will get the lightening area now go to the to the adjustment layer and the hue saturation and make it mask and then decrease the saturation the spark will be white that means you are getting like snow or rain or other stuffs if you increase the um, rain or other things just select these two things make it group and press ctrl j and then press ctrl t so you can make it bigger like that the amount will be increased so you are getting like that so yeah you are getting the snow like that after that go to the adjustment layer and solid color from the solid color choose a solid color like this and hit the ok button and change the blending mode to soft light if you need you can change the color mode if you want you can make it like wormy like this or like cool color like super warm color or whatever you want so yeah that's good if you need you can change this one here this one and go to the adjustment layer again and go to the level options and change the level like that yeah that's fine and then go to the adjustment layer again and the color balance you can balance the color like if you want to make it like this so plus four minus four plus three and if you need you can change like that yeah that's good and easily you can get the the dull image to amazing image so here we learn uh, like a skin retouching then color grading and the snow making and fake snow actually so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section if you need the stock images the preset download link and other stuffs, please check out my video description i always give all the stock or resource thing in my video description so until the next video i may see my signing out today and bye bye